Hey doing folks, welcome to the GM's Alcove. I'm pretty excited today. Found this set not sitting on my step this morning. Uh sent along with my really good friend James L. You know who you are, my friend. I appreciate it. Long time uh supporter of the channel and good friend. Uh yeah, this was sitting on my doorstep. I got some other things I'm awaiting as well regarding this. Kings of Wars, one of the starter sets. I'm brand new to this uh, system. I didn't think I'd ever be getting into it, honestly, after playing uh, Warhammer for so long. I don't know if I could, you know, really place anything else but that. But uh, I've been following along, learning about the game, and it's actually pretty damn good. So, yeah, this will be my first go with this, and I'll be painting all the stuff in here and all the other stuff regarding this on my channel. You could see me paint these armies up and hopefully play some games. But anyway, I already took the shrink wrap off. I got it out of the box. I have not broken into this box yet, however, so this will be my first, first opening of this box. It does have the sticker here, upgraded to New Gamers Edition. This is the new edition of Kings of War. Uh, that's really good. And for a starter set, they have a whole bunch Mantic puts out. This one here is pretty interesting. Uh, there's the old rule book. This is what you get in here. Two factions, two starter armies. Uh, what are they called here? The Nightmare Forces and the, the North Men. Uh, well, you get these two armies here in the book. And yeah, let's crack this open and see what's going on. I'm stoked. First of all, let's see how we get this open. I have been watching some videos on how these folks open these boxes. I noticed this is a different style of unboxing. Yeah, there you go. Now let's see what's going on here. I'm upside down. Let's pop this open. Wow, look at this. That looks pretty cool. We got some uh, MDF bases here. That's nice. MDF. Looks like two and a half millimeter thick, maybe? It's not three. A whole bunch of bases. The individual models go on here. And then you can pop these on trays. So you can move a whole bunch of guys at once or make little diorama type bases. Yeah, so that's cool. You get those. Some more. I got some a bag of bad boys in here. These look like the big guys for the Northern Alliance. We'll look at some of these in a bit. Right now I just want to get this open and check out some of these sprues. I think these are the Northmen. This was a starter set James thought I would like. And he wouldn't be wrong. He would not be wrong. No, these are the Northmen. I think this little book here shows you how to put all these guys together. And paint them even. Night Stalkers, that's the other guys. Warriors of the Alliance. Very cool. This is a little getting started book. Putting the models together, painting them, and so on and so forth, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, Mantic does a good job. It's a nice alternative to Games Workshop, I think. And I've got some plans with this game. I am going to dig into this game. I'm also going to use One Page Rules. Uh, their little fantasy skirmish game that they have. If you know about One Page Rules publications, you know what I mean. But anyway, there's a little uh, getting started book. Change the light a little bit. Night Stalkers. Pumpkin Heads. These are nice models. I'll look at these in a bit, a little bit closer. I'll tear open one of these bags and we'll take a look. Another base. And of course, finally you get this. So fold that down a little bit but yeah there's the new book right there does this have the fluff in it 
Now it's right into the rolls, because I didn't think the softback version of this comes with that, the ones they put in these boxes. It's essentially the rules and the lists. Now from what I understand, there's a lot of lists in here. What I understand, uh, these are all the armulus for the, for the game, period, except one. I believe there's one they left out purposely, uh, because it's due for an update or something. And you know what? I'm cool with that. Riftforge Orcs. Very curious how this all works together. Yeah. So there you go. That's the rule book. The Gate of Fantasy Battles. Yeah. Pretty good stuff. And there's all the rules you need. All right. That's all scenarios. How much of this actually is rules? Right up to there, about 48 pages, 50 pages or so. Goes into army selection. I guess that's technically part of the rules. Everything about the turn. Yeah, this is going to be cool. I'm looking forward to this. So, there it is. That's what comes in the box. We will check out some of the models here before I put it all away. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I got these big guys here. Wow. This is a nice sturdy plastic. I like it. Yeah, I see how that works. These guys are pretty cool looking. I don't know how much variance there is in the posing. I think everything just fits together the way it's molded. And that's it. All he needs is a head. Is that a head? Boy, he's got a little tiny head. These guys are like yetis. Yeah, look at that. He's nasty. Now that's pretty cool. I like that. So there's a whole bunch of those. I think there's three or so of those. And we got some of these uh, Night Stalkers here. Uh, what do we got? Pumpkin heads? I call them pumpkin heads. I'm not sure what they are. They actually have pumpkin heads. So Night Stalkers are an interesting little army. Everything about nightmares. That kind of thing. All kind of, looks like there's more variants here. With what you can put on models, I think. Uh, again, I'll be putting these together and painting them on my streams, my paint alongs here on the GM's alcove, maybe over on the Dash of Lawn occasionally. Uh, yeah, these look a little bit thinner and spindly. Not bad. And then we've got these guys, Northern Alliance, much more heftier guys live their lives in the ice. Yeah, these are all the same. These two are the same pose, I guess, right? These two are the same. Two are the same. These two are the same. So there's variance among the models, but I, yeah, they don't have sockets. You just glue them straight on a flat surface so you can move them around a little bit, show a, a twist in the arm or something. These guys are cool. Nice detail. I like this plastic. It's very sturdy. Doesn't seem to be soft. Yeah. Let's grab another one. One more. I don't want to go crazy here. Just enough detail to satisfy the painter side of me. What is that? A little fox? A little dog? And it has little legs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. What's this? Not sure what that is. This is very nice. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this a lot. Now, that's not all the models. There's a whole bunch here, as I showed you when I took them out. I'm not going to look at every one of them. But uh, I'm not sure what this guy is. I can't see it too well. well he's a nice model, though. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, there you go, folks. That's my little unboxing of Kings of War. Uh, again, thanks a lot, James. I really appreciate this. You are a pillar of the community for sure, my friend. There's the little pumpkin heads right there. Yeah, you get all these. Uh, but yeah, that's what you get. This is the Kings of War. Shadows in the North. 
starter box with the updated rules. Look for that sticker, folks, if you want to get the new updated rules. The red book, as opposed to this one, which is the original uh, version, one that was replaced. So there you go. Folks, uh, stay tuned to my future uh, videos, my paint-alongs, and you'll see me work on these, and I'll talk all about them, and you can see them come to life, and hopefully we'll get to some battles with these. I know my nephews are pretty stoked about getting into fantasy gaming again. I got a lot of old GW models I'm going to also use here, uh, entire painted high elf army, in fact, my nephew has. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff, mo models I've been saving and collecting that I want to use for something. And I'm going to use them in this, as well as some other things. I've got uh, my role-playing games, as well as some skirmish games I'm going to be playing. But that's next year, folks. That's when you're going to start seeing me get back to doing some battle reports, and more with miniatures gaming, on top of the role-playing goodness that I do. Anyway, folks, you guys hang in there. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, share, and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about Kings of War. You Kings of War fan? Let me know your thoughts on it. And this box set in particular, like I said, there is a few of them, starter boxes. And also, stay tuned because I do have some more unboxings for Kings of War coming. Some additional, I guess we could, not really starter boxes, two-player starter boxes, but uh, beginner armies. And I won't say what armies are on the way, but you guys will see soon enough. And you'll see what mischief i can get into on the tabletop with kings of war folks you guys hang in there because it's only going to get better till next time folks you guys take care